I'm going to make this a two-part video. The first one will be the usual review. We'll go through the basic functions of the meter, do some precision testing against top quality meters. And in the second part, I'll have a look at the hacker friendliness of this meter. The first thing that I noticed about it was that it did not stink. It's nice, hefty, rubbery, um, feels good to the touch. And I had Chinese meters that had an awful stink. It does take four AA batteries and they really last for ages. I had this meter constantly on for a couple of days when, um, when recording. Uh, charge curves for uh, lithium-ion battery chargers. So the switch does feel all right. It's not really top-notch quality, but it's that's good enough. What I also like is the two off positions. Now the first thing we are going to have a look at is the voltage range, DC, DC voltage measurements, and we'll just compare it against these two fluke meters. And if I give it a little time to settle, uh, we arrive at exactly the same values. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Keep playing with it a little. Yeah, perfect. Could not ask for more. Now, it does come with a K probe, uh, and I'm not totally happy with it. Um, the fluke meter always measures a higher temperature than the B side meter. And I, I left it all in the room for long enough to reach thermal equilibrium, but the difference between the two meters remained. So I wouldn't put any money on the on the temperature measurement. Resistance is a different story. 0 0.986 kilo ohms, that's a 1K resistor. And we'll see what happens if we plug that over to the fluke meter. And it does give us the exact same value down to the last digit. Thumbs up. Now current, uh, that used to be a 9 volt battery and a 1K resistor. And you might notice the delta sign on the fluke beat. It's got a little offset and having that calibrated will cost me more than the B-side meter does cost. So current was okay, but this is the moment you've probably all been waiting for. It's a continuity test. And there have been issues with earlier revisions of this type of meter. And it seems that's been fixed there. I can get it to Yeah, I can get it to miss the occasional beep, but all in all I can give that a pass. Yeah, good enough. And now I really don't like these transistor testers on, on multimeters. This one comes as an extra plug and I don't like fiddling with them. But to my amazement, the, the value you get from it uh, is spot on to what we have in the data sheets for this resistor. And this is Probably my favorite feature and the reason why Gearbest sent me this is the USB connector. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Arduino clones, you might be familiar with the CH340 USB to serial bridge, and that is what is built into this meter. To activate it, you can just choose the range of your choice and keep pressing the USB button. And it also does come with some also very basic software to 
show the uh, measured values on a PC and to record them. I use that extensively for my research on this on this battery charger and exported the values to uh, LibreOffice. And here's an example charge curve. You can see charge current and charge voltage in it. I had to do two runs for that, of course, but there's nothing keeping you from using two meters at the same time.